Next to go, a guy who is very, very different from Stefan Lindemann. He has immense talent, a wonderful choreography, a real flair for his music. But can he get the jumps tonight? 25 years old from Weimar. Former German champion Andres Flaschenko lying in 11th place going into this free program. Now, Andres has been uh, suffering from a knee injury, didn't compete in German nationals this year. And we sense that he's not 100% fit. Triple axel, triple toe, but with a turn in the middle. That was a gutsy effort on the combination. Good to get the triple toe out. And a lovely clean triple toe loop. doubled out I think he was rather near the barrier and maybe that caught his eye on the flip chance to reproduce that later now the Lutz no problem there at the triple axle on his own. This is the loop. chance to get the flip in and this time he lands it.
Wow. That's what he wanted. Seven triple jumps, plenty of interpretation. And then I was watching his coach, Angelika Sudopova, as he completed that last triple, the triple Salco, and she just jumped in the air and hugged whoever was closest to her. They are so proud. Obviously, because there were the injury doubt about him, no one was quite sure how he'd do. He was disappointing. Ninth only in his qualifying, 11th after the short and now he's going to haul himself right into the top 10 it's no substitute for being fourth or where he was last year or even a podium place which is what he might have hoped for but he's done well yeah you just uh, feel that if there'd been perhaps another week or so prior to the championships he, he might have done better he's got better and better as the week's gone on that was a fantastic effort on the combination triple axle not a good landing put a turn in triple toe on the end he was very very focused and determined tonight there's no doubt about that very well done there's a triple axle just stepping off for that one but he fought back he didn't let it affect the program and she's uh, she's right with him Good to see him get the triple flip out at the end of the program as well. Look of relief on his face. And hers. This, that's the moment when he, he landed the Salco. Look at that. She's uh, really been through the mill, I should think. Uh, wondering whether or not he was going to produce the... Uh, nominated him after a test last week after nationals he didn't compete in german nationals had the test and uh, there must have still been big doubts only they know how fragile he might have been and he's going to win the free so far that's for sure look at those marks and they'll be better for presentation Remember, Lindemann started three places above him, so he will hold the lead. He might be overtaken, though, if competitors get between Lashenko and Lindemann. So it's second overall. Don't be confused. On the night is what you see at the bottom. So six judges have him first on the night. He's best on the night, but because he's behind Lindemann going into the free, he goes second.